What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix the last of a spot. Geo Remastered is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, bone launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS prop and even stuck on loading screen and even direct X error such as many errors which is happening and how we can fix this app so we directly get into the step. So the first one is all about what we need to do is just follow these instruction. The first and foremost step, we need to try simple restart. So to do is just go over here, click on this particular icon. Now from here, go to the power icon and do a restart. Sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. So start with a simple restart. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game as administrator from the installation folder and also try running the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the Steam, right click on the Steam, go to the properties. Now from here, we just need to go over here, go to the game, right click and go to the properties. Now go to install and file and just click on the browse or you can check the game is installed on new local disk D. So close this, you can also close the Steam. If you want it, you can most probably close the Steam. Now just go over here in the file explorer, directly navigate to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to the last of us part two. Now from here, you can see this is the launcher, which is around the launcher is here. So. You can also try launching the launcher from here. That's what we have to try. Now we have the launcher. We need to launch the game. So instead of launching it from the Steam, close the Steam and try launching the game from here. That even helped with many users. You can try this out. Next one, we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just right click over here in this launcher. Go to show more options, properties. Go to compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode. First, we need to set this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK. Make sure what we need to do is we just need to check. And after trying with this, we need to move to the next step. And also parallel, make sure one more thing. If I click over here, go to show more options, properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator and click on disable full screen optimization as well. Go for apply and go for OK. Now close this, go back to the Steam and we need to check. Now get into the Steam and let's move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. We just need to allow the game exe file to an antivirus program. So just go over here, search for the control panel, and we need to click on this one. And right now, click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Before I allow an app for you through Windows Defender Firewall, keep scrolling down and scroll down and navigate to Last of Us over here. Now scroll down, and somewhere else here, you will be able to find The Last of Us. Henson is an alphabet, just navigate to L. So, for me, I'm not able to find it. So, if you are able to find it, just don't worry anything because I'm not able to find it. So, what I lose, let me add the game. So, just click on the, if you don't find the game, this is what we have to do. Just click on the chain setting. Go to allow another app, go for the browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps would do common. Now from here to scroll down and navigate to the last of us part two. Now scroll down and we need to select the launcher, go for open and we need to add it. So it says the last of us is here. So we need to, I think we need to check over here for T. Instead of A, we need to search for T and we will be able to find it. So most probably we need to search for T even though in the T I'm not able to find it. Okay, the last of us part two remastered is added. I'm sorry, it was already added. So once if it is added, make sure that you put a check on both the private and public. That's what we have to try. Once you put a check on both the boxes, you are fine with it. If you don't find the game, this is how, like it's shown you right now, you have to add it. Once afterwards, let's move to the next step. Next step is we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA and to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users go to this particular page. Now we need to scroll down, select everything. For example, if you're from the GeoForce, select GeoForce. If you're on the GeoForce RTX 15 series, you have to select 15 series. If you're on the GeoForce and uh, NVIDIA RTX 5090 laptop, you have to select this but one. Select Windows 11 and go for find. I'll be providing these link in the description so you don't have to worry. And now that will take you to another page. Now from here, if you're on the Windows 11, we need to download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, you can download the respective one. And if you're on the AMD, just go to this graphics, 
uh, RX over here good 5000 series. Now go to submit. Now if you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, you can download this one as well. Next one, if you're on the Microsoft Visual C++, you can also try installing this. I'll be providing a link in the description. If the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, we can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launch the game. Make sure it's all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just search off from here for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one. Now from here, we have to click on the browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk D. Now from here, Steam library, Steam amps, common. Scroll down and navigate to The Last of Us Part 2. Scroll down and select this one and go for it. Once it is and I just click on the option, change this one from like Windows decide to change this to high performance and go for the save. Once it is saved, we'll just close this and move to the next step. Next one, we need to update the Windows to the latest version. Search here for the settings. Just click on the settings. Go for Windows update and just update your Windows. That's an important one. So Windows should be updated. So if you're having any kind of cumulative updates, etc., like this, we need to update it. So right now, make sure it is all up to date. And once update is completely done, we just need to move to the next one that is installing the Microsoft Visual C++, which I have already shown you guys. So you don't have to worry on that. Next one, we need to unplick all external devices such as Hortas, wheels, pedals, mouses, razor, etc. if it's already connected. And also disconnect anything like additional joystick controllers connected. And also if monitor is connected, just remove everything. And also we need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go to the game, right click over here, go to the properties. If enable the Steam overlay while in game, turn this off. And once that it is turned off, try launch the game. And also we have apparently few more steps. If anything like overlay apps like Discord, GeoFoo's experience, or anything like overclocking applications like Riva to RMSA after one is running, we need to close this as well. And also over here, like I said, go over here in the Steam, just go to the Steam once again. So somehow accidentally I get into this. Me exit from the big picture mode. So now if we are in the Steam, what we need to do is we just need to get into the Steam. Now from here, once we get into the Steam, just go to the last of us. Now from here, we just need to right click and go to the properties. Make sure you're giving commands in the launch option. So you can try with BX11 first and you can try launch the game. If that is not working, try with BX12 and try launch the game. If that is not working, try with B3, B2 and also you can try launch the game as well. Once everything is done, just close this and move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to close all the overlay applications. So just go over here, right click, navigate to the task manager. And right now we need to go over here. And what we need to do is if you find anything like Riva Tuna, I must say after one, etc. Just remove everything from here. Once everything is removed, we just need to close this and try launch the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. Is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So I'm going to show you that. Just go over here, search for the view, advanced system setting. Just click on this one. And once you click on this one, that will take you to another page. Now from here, we just need to go to advanced, go for settings, go to the advanced tab, go for the change. Now select the local disk. So in my case, it is D. So you have to select B, go to the custom size. Initial size is 1.5 times the Rockwell RAM and the maximum size is three times the Rockwell RAM. So we need a calculator. So just search for the calculator. And now we need to type 1.5 sorry it's not 1.5 what i need to do is first i need to type what is my rack so 16 gb is my rack now i need to multiply it with 1024 that is going to give you this value multiply it with 1.5 that is 24516 copy this and we need to paste it next one 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we need to paste it once every value is being set, we just need to close this and you have to move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. So if you're having update the BIOS, just try updating it. And also if you're having anything like, you know, like I said, if uh, the game is in any kind of window mode and all those things, those can be tweaked and changes. So uh, that is also possible. So if you get into the game, you can make changes within the game. For example, uh, the way how it looks like. So everything can be completely changed. That is also fine with it. You can just launch the game. And once the game is successfully launched, I'll be showing you what we have to do. And over here also, we just need to get into the game. 
So if you get into the options, we can get into the game and you can make changes over here in the display. For example, windowed mode. If it is in full screen, you can change this to windowed mode if you want it. And also you can set the display ratio that is fine with it. And also the rest everything is okay. If the graphics, we can turn off few things like you can make few changes. The preset is right now very low. You can change it if you wanted to. And if the level of detail, if it is low, you can change it based on a PC's configuration. So screen space channels can be turned off all the time. It is not required. And also over here in the ambience, occultation can be turned off. Screen space reflections turn it off. That is also fine. These are some of the things which use a lot of things. So you don't have to go for it. And over here, if you come to depth of fade, try turning off and the motion blur quality can be set into low or medium. That is fine. Depends from person to person. We can keep it. And also the particle density can be low. Volume effect fix quality is not much needed. The lens flare can be kept to full resolution. And also if you get into this one, that is also fine. You can keep this. But apart from this, if you just go over here, what I'm recommending guys is if the window mode is in full screen, you can change into indoor mode. Or if it is full screen, you're fine with the full screen, just keep it as the full screen. There is no issue. And once everything is done, over here at upscale method is fine. The sharpness can be reduced into zero. And the NVIDIA reflects low latency can be turned on. And also the frame generation can be turned off. And I'm not recommending for everyone. I'm just saying for everyone with a PC with high spec, with low spec can turn this off. And the dynamic resolution scaling can be sub to 30. And also the V-Sync, if it is turned on, I request you to turn this off and go for OK. And once afterwards, you can try launch the game. Let me cue this. These are the few changes that can be made inside the game. Now you can go for uninstall and reinstall the game. That is what I'm what I'm trying to convince you guys is. After trying all these steps, if still there is an issue, just go to the game, right click and go to manage and uninstall the game. And you can reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, it should not be installing it back on the same local disk. We have to try either E or C. That's what we have to try. And also we have to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go to installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to take a lot of time. So what it is going to do is it is going to cross check every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So I'm going to skip this because it's going to take a lot of time. So once let me skip this and we can move to the next step. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.